Mary Toft. September 27, 1726 in Surrey, England. Servant Mary Toft, 25 years old, was in labor. She and her husband Josh had a child already, but this pregnancy was very different. In August, Mary showed all the signs of a miscarriage, but over a month later, she still appeared pregnant and was lactating. Eventually, Mary gave birth to a cat. The midwife sent for an obstetrician named John Howard in the neighboring town. On September 29, John helped Mary to deliver even more animal parts. His written record of the event listed a rabbit's head, cat legs, and nine dead baby rabbits. John sent a letter to King George I telling him about the miracle that he had witnessed. News spread quickly and Mary became a popular figure in her small town. Doctors wanted to monitor Mary more closely, so they moved her to a hospital close to John's home. By November 15, Mary had given birth to almost 20 rabbits. The men researched the latest batch of rabbits born to Mary. All of her rabbits had been born dead, but their lungs floated in water, which meant they had been filled with air. These rabbits had clearly lived outside of Mary's body. Another doctor sent by the king found fecal matter in one of the rabbits that contained hay and corn. On November 21, one of the doctors told the king that he believed the whole thing to be a hoax. He accused John of being in on the fraud. On November 29, Mary was taken to a bathhouse in London and kept under supervision. Mary had developed an infection and was in and out of consciousness. She still appeared to labor, but produced no more rabbits. In early December, a man tried to sneak a dead rabbit into Mary's room. He told the doctors that Mary's sister-in-law, Margaret Toft, had hired him to bring her the smallest rabbit he could find. Mary was charged with being a notorious and vile cheat. She was imprisoned in Bridewell Prison. John believed her until the bitter end. Shortly before her confession, he published a 40-page paper about the events called A Short Narrative of an Extraordinary Delivery of Rabbits. The charges against Mary were dropped several months after her arrest and she was free. Mary continued to tell the story of her miraculous births and continued to be called to spin her tale for groups of people at parties. Mary found herself behind bars again in April 1740 for receiving stolen goods, but was found not guilty and released. Mary died on January 13, 1765. Please visit www.icantbelieveitsnonfiction.com and don't forget to subscribe.